These guys helped me to change my life. Rewind back to February 2020. I just finished my first job as an engineer. I just made more money than it ever made in my entire life. And at the same time, I'm deeply unsatisfied and I'm overweight for the first time in my life and really just questioning like what I was supposed to do and what all this hard work is for if I was going to be so unhappy. And meanwhile, my friend Drew was talking about this great plan to go to Europe and do this backpacking trip through Europe. And while it sounded super exciting and I was really happy for him, I told him I couldn't do it because I wanted to save money. A few weeks later, I'm in New York, I'm visiting my parents and Drew's going to come in to visit before he goes to Europe. And I, I started to dip my toes into the travel videos a little bit. And I found this group, Yes Theory, that was doing all these amazing things, you know, inviting strangers to stay with them in a castle overnight. And watching their videos inspired me so much that I booked a flight. I booked a flight to Amsterdam. I bought clothes on the way because I literally didn't have clothes with me. And that whole experience changed my entire life. And then now, two and a half years later, I'm in Cyprus. I've been traveling the world. I built a successful marketing company. And I see that they have this premiere of Iceman in Paris, their, their new film. So I changed my trip, I booked my flight to Paris, and I met some amazing people. And I finally got to meet my idols and the people that inspired me to live the life that I live. And that is what this video is about. So starting off this, we went to the generator hostel. I arrived and I ended up meeting up with some uh, people from England and we uh, we went out. So I don't stay in hostels so much anymore, but I wanted to meet people here. So we went out to this place. It was actually Le Duple, or I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but uh, it was pretty fun. And then, you know, got to see the Arc de Triomphe, the Triomphe at night. And uh, yeah, had a pretty eventful first night. And get to see the city. I actually really like that. I got tickets for two days. I really like it as a way to see the city though, because you uh, get to just hop on, hop off wherever you want all day long. As you can see, it's a beautiful day today, uh, but you can hop off at one spot, get back on. Like you don't have to worry about the metro. You don't have to worry about, we're getting run over by cars. I'm walking to the first spot because I had a late night last night and can't really work out so what I'm doing instead is taking a nice it's about two miles away so I'm gonna walk for about 45 minutes see the city and then do the hop on hop off bus so one of the things that's very apparent as I spend time walking around Paris is that the city is really first of all very walkable and extremely beautiful and I was actually very it was a very nice day to just go around the hop on hop off by myself check out the city and get a little feeling for you know what Paris is all about um, also coming up here there was actually a protest being sta uh, going on for Iran because this was taking place in um, October so that was a very interesting sight to see also Up at this other place. I was thinking about going to the place that looked nice down there, but like I didn't feel it. Feel like it. So getting a glass of wine. Look at that. I made it to the Eiffel Tower. Right there, there's actually an apartment, a secret apartment. I'm gonna take the metro from here. Yesterday I did go and do the hop on hop off bus, but I didn't really check anything out. So today I have a few hours. And I'm probably gonna go check out the The school here it looks like. Just getting the day started. So since I don't really have any workout clothes and I want to work out because I put on a few pounds in the past few months traveling, I'm going to walk. 40 minutes or three kilometers to where we need to go. And then I'm going to get a coffee and a croissant. So 
got a croissant, coffee with milk, and juice. I make sure I don't gloss over this here, but the the waitress, um, I asked her about the coffee, like what type of coffee she had, and she was like, with milk and without milk. So I mean, that's the that's the Parisian attitude. Um, it made me laugh though. And then later, I just went to walk around and and have pizza with friends. So I just worked for like three or four hours, and now. 2 p.m. and I'm gonna head over to her place um, because I guess uh, there's like eight people staying there for like a couple nights and going to the premiere tomorrow so uh, I'm gonna head over there I'm gonna get something to eat on the way probably just a sandwich I think what I understand is that there's a lot of fine dining and then there's like sandwiches and croissants and coffee and stuff like that but yeah I'm just gonna grab a sandwich uh, maybe some coffee. Um, so here, I'm not sure if I gave a, a whole lot of um, context for this, but I, I've talked to these people on Facebook and this girl was like, oh yeah, I'm having people over my place. So I went and stayed, we made dinner together. Obviously you can see we're in the, we're in the kitchen uh, cooking it up, with my friend from Portugal. And we had a bunch of different countries all just hanging out. Yeah, look who made that. Who did that? Who did that? Yeah, who was the shoe chef though? Who was the shoe chef? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, just a really nice time, all, all having fun, talking, sharing with each other, meeting all people who are, you know, just unique, all unique souls. It was very, a very nice time. So you may be a little bit confused about All right. what is going on here, what just happened, but no, they just did a rock, paper, scissors to see who was going to walk with me, essentially take the tran uh, take the bus, I think, because they had a car, but there wasn't no space. So me and my Hungarian friend here, we uh, took the public took the public transport and made our made our way over to the Yes Fan meetup. I think it worked. No, you can't. <laughs> that was good, yeah. So we got a movie being filmed here, it looks like. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. People are dressed up like they're in the 40s, you know, like 50s. Over there. I wonder what it is. I bet you we're gonna find out later. Look at, and they're putting up those old posters, like old-fashioned poster oh, yeah, style right. things. Yeah, we out here. <laughs> Having conversations. Pokeball. We got the police in there. Having, having too much fun. The police are now on to us. Could you not smile like that? Now you're asking me to mask my emotions because of how it makes you feel? That I will not do. Seriously. Stop humming! We got out at the red stop. Get everybody back there. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel special? I do feel special. Yeah, that's good. I know. Yeah, that's the interesting part. No, I don't know what's going on. I'm going through the same experience as you, so yeah. What are we doing here? What are we doing? What's going on? What's going on? So, so far, it's been pretty awesome. Yeah. Can everybody hear me? Thank you all for being here. For being here with us. So what do you think about the experience so far? Well, it's a blast. Yeah. I feel amazing. Yeah, it's a Maybe blast. The, the best night this year. Best night this year so best far, year, yeah. 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 What, what do you think? Yeah. Amazing. Magical yeah. night.
Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the people. Yeah. It's all about the people. Uh, all about here and about this man as well behind the camera. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It's all about. And I called my sister, and I actually said to my sister, I feel so alone. Nothing has happened, but I used to feel so alone, and I started to cry. And she was like, well, tell me stuff, what has happened? And I said, I don't know. I used to feel alone on my mission. Four days later, I have goosebumps now when I share this story. It's the weather shift that can have dramatic consequences. I've never been so broken in my life, both physically and mentally. You guys need to know how I get warm and how I keep on going because I'm not going to stop this. <laughs> Made it to the sun. You can barely see him because the backwards facing camera doesn't have very good light exposure. Let's right, see. Awesome. Over there. Yeah. Well, you're in it. You're in it now. So, as you can see, I got my new merch here. Part of Iceman. Um, but. I am getting an Uber to the airport so I can go to Madrid. But the only thing is, I don't know why this always happens to me, but my carry-on strap broke. So that's how I'm starting off today. Carry-on strap broke. So I'm just going to the airport now. Reflecting on this experience, I mean, it was truly amazing to just meet up with a bunch of strangers, go stay in a stranger's place. Like, it just really... Uh, like, you know, meeting everybody that I met, meeting, you know, Amar and Tomas and the, the entire Yes Theory team, and then, you know, Anders and all that stuff. It was really, really an incredible experience. And um, I'm looking forward to all the future Yes Fan meetups and really just grateful that I was able to experience this because it was a once in a lifetime experience for me.